Well, with 50 days to go to polling day on May the 7th, the Chancellor was clearly hoping to reach out to millions of voters in what is billed as the most unpredictable election in many years. As well as the new help to buy ISAs, he announced a new flexible ISA so that savers can withdraw and then replace money without losing their tax-free entitlement. Uh, end of year tax returns, well, they're to be scrapped and they'll be replaced with online digital accounts. And beer duty has been cut for the third year in a row with another penny off a pint. Rita Chakrabarti is in the marginal constituency of North Warwickshire and uh, she's been asking voters there for their verdict on the budget. A job is created every 10 minutes in the Midlands, George Osborne said today, and Surtech is part of the success story. This company manufacturing car parts announced 400 new jobs last year and its new site here was opened by a chancellor keen to celebrate its expansion. And George Osborne loomed large here today. Those running the company's finances watched him with the business and their own pockets in mind. Martin Hughes personally welcomed the help for savers with more flexible ISAs, and he declared the budget overall as business friendly. That the Chancellor's endeavour to create a, an economy, a stable economy, uh, and that will allow business to, to prosper within that environment. That's what we're looking to do. We wouldn't have wanted to see radical change. We want consistency and stability, and he's delivered on both fronts. Paul Lydon has benefited from the company's expansion. He's got one of the new jobs and is saving for a deposit on his first home, which is tough on the minimum wage. The government's offer of help will take several years to beef up his deposit, but it's still welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Obviously, I'm in, the, I'm in the position now of saving at the moment, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a deposit a lot faster now he's made this announcement, yeah? So targeted and welcome help from George Osborne for some, but with an election just weeks away, the key question is how much better off are people feeling overall? Um, I've been a little bit better off, uh, but that's because I've got a job. I know that other people out there are struggling. Um, it is hard and you have to shop around to get the best deals. Shirley Cartwright's a saver and a tax cut on the interest on savings will be useful, she says, to those who've got any. We've already paid tax on our money. We do begrudge paying extra tax on our savings. It will help, but not the people who are on a low income can't afford to save, so they're not going to benefit from it. It's only people who are in a position to be able to put savings away that will benefit from that. So George Osborne has said that resoundingly, yes, people are better off than they were five years ago. What do you think? The wages are still too low and the cost of living is too high, so no, I don't agree that people are better off. So concerns about living standards remain, although the giveaways today were warmly received. George Osborne can only hope he's done enough to hang on to seats like this. Rita Chakrabarti, BBC News, Warwickshire.